go and wake up Poppy. He sleeps in the laundry. Poppy! Oh my god, he's already outside. Good morning, Poppy. How are you? You're so cute. Good morning. And how are you? <laughs> so, just to give you a quick outfit, I'm wearing this new dress I bought from. It's like an Australian label. I'll try and link it down below, but I don't know if I will be able to because it is Australian and I don't think they have a store online. Um, but I might be able to link like a similar dress. It's just like super boho and white. It's cute. Um, the weather's weird today. Like it's hot, but it's not too hot. Um, so I thought like a mini dress with like probably like a long sleeve would be appropriate. Um, and I'm just wearing my Chanel with it. So this is the medium Chanel classic flap. And I'm wearing the Lancome lip gloss. It's really dark in here, so you can't really see. Oh, yeah, that's way better. <laughs> um, and shoes, I'm wearing my Hermes slides. And arms, I'm wearing my Cartier and my Hermes. That's not focusing. Um, yeah, and actually, I'm going to look at Fendi today and probably look at the hoops. But they've got little gold ones that is the new season, so I might look at that. Because they always had, like, the really big ones. So I want something for, like, kind of every day. So I think that would be... Cute. We're going to see at the Fendi store if they have it. So yeah, let's go. So today is Thursday and today's plan is to actually go Christmas shopping. So it's a Thursday before Christmas and I bought a gift just yesterday for my mum and it was already um, packaged and all that so I didn't have to package it but um, I'm just getting my lip gloss just to top up my lips because I was drinking coffee so I didn't put on anything. Um, I love this so much. Mm, it's just the Clarins um, in shade one, but it's not sticky and it's got that nice gloss to it. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to go Christmas shopping today and buy a bit of New Year gifts as well um, and see what we like. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of things that she wanted to get for me, um, but I guess sizing so she wanted to kind of go together um and yeah and then that's the plan for today um and then we're gonna go do that and then um at night we have planned like a christmas end of year dinner for all our staff and employees so um yeah so that's gonna be really good so we got the christmas dinner tonight um so we kind of have to be there early, obviously, because we're hosting. Um, so, yeah, and it's just at a restaurant, which is cool. So, yeah, it'll be nice. We're going to do that after. So I'll probably have a bit of a dress change. The plan was to actually go to the tailor this morning because I went to the tailor two days ago. I bought this super cute dress, but it was a maxi and I wanted it to be kind of just at my knee level. So I just wanted to alter just a little bit. Um, and then I took it to the alterations like two days ago and then they called me yesterday and they were like hey sorry can you come in we've actually dropped your pins so how awkward and I'm like oh um not really I kind of don't want to come in again like I was expecting the next time to go in to actually just pick up my dress you know it's kind of really annoying I guess um so they asked for me to come in this morning but honestly I don't really have time to go in this morning like I just want to kind of get to the shops because then we kind of have to get to the dentist after that after the shops after we do some Christmas shopping dentist and then we've got the dinner the Christmas dinner tonight so it's like um I actually don't have time so I might do that tomorrow um for Friday in the morning so and I'm also going out for dinner Friday night and I kind of wanted to wear that dress like what anyways that's so annoying <laughs> it's actually really annoying and unprofessional but yeah um but yeah and then Saturday I actually have a busy day on Saturday as well so Saturday we are I have my hairdressing appointment but before that I you can see all this regrowth I can't even deal Ugh. I don't have dark hair but because I go so light blonde 
you can obviously see the contrast, um, but I am a very light brunette um, with a bit of blonde highlights in it naturally. Um, but because I go so blonde, you can see obviously the regrowth and the contrast of it easily. Um, but we so basically on Saturday for the first time ever in the morning I made an appointment I'm going to get a lash lift and I'm so excited for this because I'm not someone that likes wearing makeup um especially on my eyes I can't, I'm really into skincare more so and probably like concealer and bronzer that's about it um and like even now I don't have barely anything on like I'm wearing mascara but I'd rather not and kind of just have like a curled eyelashes and like a lash um curl and lift instead of wearing mascara like I just rather do that that's just more my aesthetic and I just prefer that um so it's going to be my first time and I've been wanting to do this for such a long time and I can't believe it's taken me this long but I was kind of like on adrenaline yesterday and I was like making all these appointments so yeah I booked that in for Saturday morning so I'm going to do that in the morning and then from there head to my hairdresser which is really exciting I love going to the hairdresser and getting a fresh hair getting fresh hair that's my favorite thing um and then we will be heading to our beach house in the peninsula um and spending the rest of the week there so i'll be at my beach house um for christmas and all that and then after christmas we are heading to singapore for the new year which is so exciting so yeah that's kind of like a timeline of my life for the next couple of days so yeah and yeah i'll probably see you guys when i get to the shop. I just did some shopping. I didn't do um, much, just a couple of things. I picked up. I picked up an iPad which is downstairs and the ear pods as well, the new ones, which I'm really excited about. They should be good, but that was a Christmas gift um, gifted to me, so I'll probably get that next week on Christmas. So my mom's got that with her, but yeah. Um, we picked that up, uh, but I also went to Fendi, which is so cool. I was having a look around at Chanel and you guys i found the duvel i want so i don't know if i mentioned but my next chanel bag is going to be the duvel because i just feel like it's appropriate and i kind of need a big bag so i'm going to do definitely the duvel next and i only wanted it in the pastel color like i wanted it in pink but that sold out it's old it's old season and then i wanted it in the light blue pastel blue they had it old season again they don't have it anymore and then i kind of wanted it in the gold they had it like in a tweed sort of gold fabric love that one sold out they don't have it anymore and now and then last season um it was the autumn winter 2019 collection they only had it in dark colors like a black with studs on it and i was like that's not me it's not my style and now they've got spring summer 2020 collection in store and I found the one. So I was like, can I see the Duvels? And she brought out two and I was like, oh, this is the one I knew straight away. So I'll show you. I took, I took a pic. Well, that's on the website. If that's going to focus. Can you see? How stunning. So it's obviously like very pastel -y colors. It's a blue and white. Um, it's got Chanel Paris printed in the middle, one's pink, one's blue, very pastel, very my colour. The chain straps are um, like an orange. So yeah, it's very me and I love it so much. I saw it straight away and I was like, yes, this is the one I want. So I might pick it up on Saturday. I might go after the hairdresser to pick it up. Um, but I didn't pick it up today because I kind of just wanted to know if I, it's cheaper to get it in Singapore and then get my tax back on my way out of Singapore or is it better just to pick it up here because like last time I picked up my Chanel in LA and that was like a no 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 that was not good but like it was expensive like obviously I paid a lot more but then again the price is a lot more higher like the currency rate and all is pretty bad in the USA but where Singapore is pretty similar to us but anyway I wanted to show you what I got from Fendi so here is a little bag um 
I told you guys what I was going to get, so I told you earlier, so if you watched earlier, you would have seen, um, you would have heard what I mentioned, but how cute is this? I want to show you. It's like a magnetic clip. I don't know if they're doing this for Christmas, but this is kind of like their new print, but it reminds me of like a bookmark. It's like has Fendi and all their new print on it. Um, but yeah, it'll be cute like as a bookmark. It's cardboard, so it's got like a magnet closure, but yeah, let's open this. So exciting. I love Fendi. I have a couple of things from Fendi. I have shoes and I have like accessories and a bag as well. So it comes in this box here. I always love the yellow, you know, that Fendi comes with. So here they are. I never saw how they actually give you their jewelry, but it comes in this box. So it looks like that. So you just like pop it open like so and then there's the hoops this will actually be good for traveling like you can put some of like your earrings that you take to travel with you and like kind of like just store it on the um table like in your hotel or whatever and you can actually see what you've got with you you know like it's such a weird different concept i think but here are the earrings should we put them on they're so cute oh my gosh the lady was wearing the silver they had the silver and they had like they had like a um it was kind of like a bronzy color and they didn't have the gold on display and i was like oh i want the gold and then she was like let me search if they have it at another store and then um she was like oh seems like we have it seems like we just got it delivered and then she went to the back and she pulled out one they got delivered one box it's so cute how does it look it's so cute oh my god it looks stunning i love it small hoops are in now so 90s isn't it um so yeah so this one just came in yesterday they arrived and i bought it so now they're sold out again <laughs> at the melbourne location so yeah they definitely had the silver but the silver it didn't stand out much with my skin tone, so I really wanted the gold. But yeah, I think that they are stunning. I'm so excited for them. They're just super casual just to like always wear. And they're really light as well, which is nice. But yeah, I think that they are really, really cute. So that's what they look like. I'll give you a close-up. If you can see. That's what they look like. How stunning. They're super like cash, aren't they? They're like low key. You can't even tell they're Fendi unless you know them. Um, and they're really light as well, which is nice. So that was one purchase. Um, I didn't purchase anything else, but I just received a delivery as I was coming up um, into my room and the doorbell rang and I received a delivery. It's from the Outnet. Um, this is actually a winter skirt that I had on my wish list a couple of months ago, but then it sold out in my size. And then they randomly got my size again. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to purchase it. Even though it's not winter right now. But, you know, it'll be winter again. Obviously, very soon. So it's by um, Victoria Beckham. This is my first ever outfit from... My first ever ready-to-wear from Victoria Beckham. How does it sound? This is how it comes, by the way, out there. Yeah. Look at this packaging. Oh, it's so fluffy. Oh, wow. So here it is. It's like a midi, wintry skirt. So it looks like this. It's midi, and it's in this beautiful fabric. It's making me hot just feeling it because it's actually really hot today. Um, but it's definitely for winter. Made in Italy by Victoria Beckham. Um, and it's in this beautiful light grey. It's got a pink trim at the bottom. And I'm pretty sure it's 100% wool. But let's check the thing, the tag. What does it say? Yeah, 69% virgin wool and then a less stain. Yeah, so it's like pretty much 100% wool. How stunning is it? I love the colour. It will be so easy to style i'm going to show you guys how it looks on as well so this is what it looks like with like a thinner knit i don't know it's really big this is just a size 
too and it feels really big like I know it's a knit and it's stretchy but it kind of is slipping down so I might actually get it altered I feel like I live at those alterations at the tailor honestly recently I've just been living there but um yeah I think that's just a bit big because it keeps slipping down and then the back's longer and just you know what I mean because it's slipping down but that's definitely how I'd style it with that but yeah okay so now I actually styled it with a black net and I changed my boots and these definitely look so much better so these are my Louboutin um ankle boots and they look so much better especially because the boots are white and they're also ankle length so you can see a bit of skin I think it looks good it kind of elevates your legs a bit but also see what I mean it's huge like I folded it up three times maybe it's just too long for me I just don't have the height for it you know so I don't know so I don't know if they can take it in from the top if they do but I don't know if that's a bit long or is that good maybe for winter like especially in New York maybe not an Australian winter but definitely when it's snowing in New York and you definitely want to be rugged up you kind of do want to wear this thick you know knit of a skirt you know I think that looks cute it looks so much better with a black top wow and the booties as well but yeah like styling obviously makes such a difference doesn't it here's my earrings they're so cute Good morning guys, I hope you can see me. This is like a really random setup, but I hope it balances and you can see me. I'm in my bathroom and I'm just, um, had a shower and I'm just like fixing up my hair. Um, I hope you're doing well, but I'm actually in my new home today. So I'm actually in my beach house. So I don't know if I mentioned earlier in one of the videos, but I definitely had footage. I don't think I put it into a separate video, but I'll insert it here of um, us coming down to the peninsula and kind of like house shopping, looking at some properties, but we finally decided on a house and we purchased it. And the past couple of weeks I haven't really been posting because it's just been absolute mayhem. Um, with work and all, um, but also moving in because um, we've got two homes, so this is our beach home, so we had to buy all separate furniture for it. So um, yeah, it's just been fun at the same time, but stressful, like getting everything, being here on a Saturday to like receive all the deliveries um, and all of that, like we're receiving another delivery today. I received one last night, today's Saturday morning, and um, we received a delivery last night for fri on Friday, which was like the TV console table. And today we're waiting to receive a delivery from, um, it's like an outdoor living table to put out on the balcony, like a dining table, but outdoor one. Um, so we're waiting for that. They should be coming soon. Um, but yeah. And I am having a lot of fun. We're right next to the beach, so it's really fun. My dog's here as well, Mr. Harold, and he's just like smelling everything and trying to get used to, I guess, the new environment. <laughs> he's peeing everywhere, actually. He's really, really stressed. Um, so he's like peeing. Um, we're taking him for a morning and night walk just to like get him used to his environment because I guess he's like really active you know because he's really excited and he doesn't know where he is um but yeah so we're just kind of trying to get him used to it at the same time um and I'm nearly done with my hair actually this is a new curler I bought it's actually a straightener but it curls as well it's from it's like a BS it's nothing fancy but it's cool it's just like really smooth and yeah, I'm getting my hair done next week just before Christmas and I can't wait because I've already got a bit of regrowth. So it's very exciting. Got exciting plans for the new year, Christmas. I'll be going to Singapore, which is so exciting. Never been to Singapore, so I'm very excited about that. And it's gonna be very fun, isn't it? I mean, I've heard great things about Singapore. Apparently the shopping there is amazing. And yeah, I'm excited, not for long, just for like a week. And then we'll be coming back and spending the summer here at my beach house, which 
is really exciting. Hopefully you'll have a really relaxing summer. Um, okay, I think I'm done. Yeah, that should be. That's good. Does that look? You can see. Does look good? Okay. The lipstick I'm going to wear, I actually just purchased this new. It's from Clarins. It's the Natural Lip Perfector. I actually bought a darker shade um, when I was in, you know where? Mm, in Nice. I bought a darker shade and I was obsessed with it. And then the other day I just went shopping and I just happened to come across Clarins. And I was like, oh, I love this lip balm. And then I found a lighter shade, which is more me. Um, and I bought it. What shade is it? It's number one. So it's like a really soft pink, but the gloss is like really glossy. It's not like sticky gloss, you know? It's nice. It's actually a big bottle as well, which is nice. So I just wanted to show you, this is what I pack all my makeup in, even though I'm talking about all my makeup, but I've actually forgotten concealer, um, which is crazy because most times I just like to wear concealer. I don't like to wear foundation, but I pack my foundation, so I just wear a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just packed it in here. You can see it's all empty. So it's this is where I, um, I'm putting my makeup. I purchased this little marble tray from Target, which is really nice and different. Never seen it before. And it wasn't too expensive. And this is marble too, mind you, it's real. So, um, yeah, and I put little earbuds in there. How cute is that? My styling's all coming together. And these are just like some of the products I use. So like my skincare, um, we got like Charlotte Tilbury, my Jade face roller. Yes, I use it every day. I've got a lot of Lancome, um, which I love. I love this. I've actually shown this, but I love it. It's Lancome. It's a Hydra Glow um, primer, makeup primer, but it really does give you a glow. This is, I use this every day. This is my sunscreen for my face. And yeah, this is also Charlotte Tilbury. But yeah, so good. So I just keep some of my things there. So, since it's Christmas, well, it's coming to Christmas, I finally bought a wreath for the door and it's super summer house appropriate. I feel like it's very beach vibe. I'll show you quickly. So here it is. Um, you can see it. How sweet is it? Hold on. There's a lot of things on this bench. So this is what it looks like and I think it's so sweet and cute and I love the green and white. It's so basic but like really, I don't know, it just has like a very summer vibe which I love. Um, I think it will look really cute on the door so we're going to put that up. And I also picked up these little hooks as well because I don't want anything permanent um, because obviously take it off so these are always good so we're going to use them. So I was thinking just about here. So that's not too high up and it's not too low as well. It's kind of in the center, which would be nice. So we need the hook. And then I don't want to get it too, like I don't want to get it on the window. So like there, I put it there, and that. What do you think, is that good? Yep. It's in the center? Yeah, I think so. It looks so cute and it's so Christmassy. I love it so much. Um, I'm really
really into Leah Michelle's Christmas in the City. She's got um, a new album out. Um, cool. It's like Christmas music. She's actually the character from Glee, but um, yeah, she's got a Christmas album and it's actually really cute. I'm um, into it this season. Um, also, do we like these new sunglasses? So I picked these up um, from the web. So yeah, they're like these brown tinted sunglasses, very 70s vibe. I quite like them. So we're wearing these and we're just on our way for lunch. I'm starving. Are you going to do a coffee again? No, I don't know. Not sure. I so I bought the small coffee so yeah. we can have another one. Yeah, so I might do a coffee as well because I actually dropped my coffee. This is a true story. Um, we ordered a latte. How about that? <laughs> And I dropped my coffee. How sad is that? Isn't that so sad, Poppy? So sad. Is that why you're crying? Because I dropped my coffee.